2021, if you want to scam me, Mom, I'm well. <laughs> <laughs> you better know already. For yes, you know we do it on tea time. Yes, we'll always have somebody special in the studio with us. This is not a new phase because in the year 2021, you have been introduced to this guy. Even if you don't know him in 2018, in 2019, in 2020, 2021, me personally, I have shown him to you. Mm -hmm. And he has killed it. So there's nothing you can tell me that you don't know this guy. But let me just introduce him real quick. His name is Fisayo Michael Olagunju known as i'll not tell you because you have met him already he was born on the 22nd of march in lagos state nigeria he hails from ondo state and was born into a family of engineers doctors and lawyers ah, we will question that one and he and, um okay i'll not still call his name he has always had the knack for show business as he has made a name for himself as a host and hype man that brings great value and finesse to the hype industry if i do say so myself trust me it is true with his fluency and style he, has, uh, he had his primary education at Grace Children's School, Bagada. He attended Baptist Academy, Obanikuru, Nigerian Turkish International College, I'm over TNE. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, and, you know, for his secondary school education, he studied um, Computer Science and Information University. Sorry, that was a mistake. From into science and information technology at Leeds City University. You know, from 2013 to 2016. He also holds a certification as a fiber optics technician by the Fiber Optics Association courtesy of the IMT computers. Huh, oh my, this guy, I don't even know where to start from. But me, I know him as MC Fish. The one who swims in water without the oxygen. The one who can come out of water and still make it out of I can see why you're not in the hype man business though. I'm terrible at yeah, it. Yeah, you are. I should stop. No, you are, yeah. Let's, give it, let's leave it to the hype man. Oh yeah, please hype yourself. Oh, wow, that's heartbreaking though. Okay, but you know what? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is the real MC Fish. They call me the chosen one, and I'm a hype man, I'm a host, compare, and also a nightlife connoisseur. Okay. Welcome Fancy to the show, words. MC Fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, how did you get that you name? Why MC Fish? Okay, I was, I was, in, I was in secondary <laughs> No, it yeah, wasn't yeah, like, yeah. it's actually, yeah, it's been like that from secondary school. Right. I was in class one day, and my name is Fisayo. So, okay. Mm. Uh, someone tried, wanted to call my name, you know, so she didn't know when she put the H. In between. Fish shy, fish then shy. my crazy friends were like, ah, fish, that's your new name mm -hmm. that we have given. Uh, in fact, I didn't even like the name. Mm. But, you know, I went into university and people from school started calling me fish. Mm. It became a virus. Why? So personally, you know, I've seen you do your thing as several, you know, being the night life, you know, night owl lifestyle. I've seen you do your thing in several occasions. So places I don't even come and pop you and be like, hey, my guy. Because I see that the hype is all around you. So yeah. sometimes I just chill. I just enjoy what you do. Yeah. But, you know, um, tell us about that industry, that space. You know, what are some of the challenges you faced? You know, because I know you've conquered a lot. So definitely it hasn't come easy for you. So what are some of the things you faced? Uh, when, when people ask me how the game is how the mm. industry is i tell them it's like it's it's more or less like a misunderstood profession you understand mm. like the typical nigerian that grew up in nigeria if, if he goes to a club and sees a hype man he'll be like ah i'm a bad guy we call them alagbi alagbi lele you know mm. so and it comes with a lot of you know how do i put this now like misconception yeah misconception you mm. know people tend to look down on you and all but you have to do it for the passion so it's been the passion yeah. Mm. No matter everything that I've been through, it's been the passion. So yeah. what is the disparity? Like, what, what, what do you think is one of those common things that are not actually true about your industry? Uh, first of all, uh, <laughs> the hype industry is a very lucrative industry. Mm. Right. People don't tend to just investigate into mm. it. Mm. That's all. There's money in the hype industry. So people right think now. you don't have money. They think you're broke. Yeah. yeah. They think I beg for money every night. <laughs> <laughs> That's the word. They think I beg for money every night. Right. Um, did you... Do you think you would do this for this long? I mean, you have been in the game for a minute. Did you see yourself always having that longevity? And do you think that would continue? Because that's another thing we don't know about your industry. It's like, is there progression? Can you do this till you're 50? Uh, the thing is, the profession, the hype profession would, would last long because these days you don't go to a party without seeing a hype man. Yeah. Yeah. You see a DJ, you see a hype man. So the culture uh, has been, you know, has been accepted. 
like, mm. in this region, of, in this part of Africa. Mm. So it, I, I see, I see, a, I see people striving in mm. it for a long time. Right. And mm. myself, I see myself here also mm. you know, being here. So I'm, I'm here, baby. Okay. Right. I'm so you're stay. married. You're married to one of the most controversial women when it comes to the entertainment industry. And the whole entire Nigerian and internet. The, I know. Yeah, <laughs> one of yes, it's allowed. Yeah, she's very, very controversial. Yet yeah, very, very on point, mm. right? Because there are some things that you can be like, okay, yeah, Anita said this, but she will still find a way to still make it make sense. So even if you were not making sense for the start, you still be like, ah. Exactly. She still makes sense at the end of the day. You get me? So how does that make you... How have you been able to cope with that? Because everybody that tells you marriage is easy is a scam. Yeah, you're happily <laughs> married. Look at how fly you are. Yeah, so so, so tell, <laughs> tell us, how have you been able to cope? How have you been able to manage that, uh, you know, with your nightlife business and all the ladies flocking around you? Because I can imagine Anita in the club. Eh, you don't know my husband. Hey, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Um, in every relationship, in every marriage, it's love and understanding at the end of the day. So, like, you know the person before you got married to the yeah. person. You understand? You don't try and come and change things. You know the, the life the person was living before you met the person. And uh, if I feel like you should accept that type of life. But at the end of the day, my wife is a very understanding person. She, she sees the passion that... A lot of people don't see. Mm. You know, I'm I'm this I'm not a matchmaker, but you know, it's New Year Day, and I think she deserves a special shout out. She's been very hard working oh, all through yeah, the year 2020, yeah, 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 and I think this is your opportunity to just you know give her a special shout out before oh, you know it's 2021. <laughs> all right, all right, um, babe, if you're watching this, um, Happy New Year to you. I want to say I love you so much, and this one is for you. My name is Nile J K Galakwe Seleke Manare Seleke. All those are kids. <laughs> we, we don't understand. But, but we understand. It's a joke vibe. Yeah. Um, I want to know if you, what your thoughts are on relationships in the industry. I mean, yours is a bit different because she's acting and you're not in the same direct. But we can group you in entertainment. And there's a lot of conversations going on around that, the fame. And we all know how that could be. Um, do you think you can genuinely find a healthy relationship that is... Um, planted in the entertainment industry. Yeah, yeah, you can. You can. There, there are very sweet love stories about two people that met mm. in the entertainment mm. industry. And it always used to end up in one story or yeah. another. No, I, I, like I said, it's, it's all love and understanding. You know this person, you know mm. what the person sure. does. Mm. Just love the person without the unconditionally. whole... Well, yeah, unconditionally. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. That's all that matters. You know, okay. It doesn't matter if you guys are doing the same job. Right. If you love each other, you guys can live in it. You guys can work. Okay. Right. If you could have been anywhere in the world today, but you chose to be here with us in Plus TV Africa. Yeah. So, yep. yeah, true. basically, we just want you to tell us, you know, that's, that's the least you can do. What's up with MC Fish in 2021? What should mm. we be expecting? What's going on? Because time is running out and, you know, yeah, we still have the Daisy coming through. So just tell us what should we be expecting from you this mm. new year? Um, new, new stuff. Uh, okay. The side of MC Fish, you know, uh, I recently featured in a movie. It's called mm. Family Tussle. So, so. Exclusive, exclusive. <laughs> Don't say I did not tell you before something new in 2021. Go on. <laughs> so more of that to come. Uh, and then also I'm dropping an EP this year. Oh, wow. 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 Also going to drop an EP. Yeah. So it's a different you act. have planted your legs in a few places there. Okay. Yeah, exactly. I like. Exactly. And it's making money. See how fresh this mm -hmm. girl is, man. See how fresh she is.